logical sense. So first of all, you and I are obviously kind of working, but not really, right? right. So what would happen if you got injured right now? Would it be covered under workers' compensation? Yes, it would. Why? Because we have uh, breaks, or we are supposed to be having breaks by law, right? Um, really? So this would be considered one of our breaks for... I'm mandated to give it to you? Yes. Okay. I suppose I have to pay you a certain amount too. I can't pay you less than a certain amount else either? No. Okay. So, yes, injuries during what's called personal comfort is considered part of employment. So it includes things like coming here and having coffee. And having to wait for 15 minutes for that. You better, I mean, it, like, if, <laughs> if you do that, then you better take your cup and, you know, you better be working while su sipping your single carafe thing. See, listen, nothing has happened. And now it's just going. Okay. Um, so if you need to go outside for fresh air, if you need to stand up and walk around just a bit, anything for personal comfort considered part of the job, and if you accidentally get injured there, then it's included. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Third, second question I have for you. Why is Nick dressed like a truck driver? Because it's a uh, Friday? Is that it? I think so. I mean, I think he's like like a crew member on, you know, Iced and Dangerous. Oh, I you think know, he might be a part-time like truck driver. Is that it? I think so. So, so Nick, do you have scissors? <laughs> We're going to talk about what's called horseplay. So, Nick, start running. Start running up and down the hallway with the scissors, okay? All right. So, the other area where sometimes uh, something can happen and it could be uh, work-related is what's called during horseplay, and that is if you're co-workers are kind of goofing off, which never happens here. No. Keep running, keep going, go back down. Go. Keep running with scissors, run with scissors. And so even if you're doing something stupid and dangerous like that. running with scissors, mm -hmm. and you get injured, it may even still be covered under workers' compensation Depending on the circumstances, the courts will look at what's called a five-part test. And does, is he really still running, or is he chatting? I'm hearing chatting. <laughs> oh, Run! Running. Keep running! Keep running! Okay. His workout. <laughs> and one of the factors is is to what extent does your supervisor or boss tolerate the horseplay? Oh, look, listen. I mean, it sounds like someone in a nursing home on their when last day, right? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's just keep running. Um, so anyway, for horseplay, uh, sometimes if you're injured and you're kind of goofing off, it can be considered part of the job, particularly if it's part of the part of the work. Um, and so horseplay is the other one. Mm -hmm. okay. So in this, in this case, you're asking him to do it, right? So then... For my own twisted, morbid amusement. Right. Okay. So... so so Nick, you can stop running with scissors now, and you can walk and be safe uh, now and come back. So there's a third area of employment. Uh, did you get your, how see you look, you got, I got pull, out the, pull out the scissors <laughs> for you. Third area where uh, sometimes people get confused whether or not something's work related is if they get injured, like let's say Nick did, and then I had the temerity to say, well, you shouldn't have been running with scissors, it's your fault. And does fault matter in workers' compensation? No. Say no, that's right. It doesn't matter who caused the injury, it doesn't matter if it's your fault, your employer's fault, someone else's fault. Um, fault is immaterial in workers' compensation. So if your employer tells you, oh no, that's not covered under workers' compensation because it's your fault, uh, that does not uh, count, don't worry. And hopefully with this, look at this, just barely in the I don't know. We've been here a half an hour, I think. Yeah. Right. But it looks like my my beautiful copy is done, and with that, we're gonna say Happy Friday. To thank you so much for. Well, thank you. But you are not allowed to steal anything just because you need it. You have to get Gina's permission first. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Gina. Goodbye, tried and trusty coffee machine, and goodbye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you.